good Friday morning to you. Hey, you know what? Clyde is making a long weekend, so he's off today. But my girl, Allie, is here. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, Mona. Yeah, Clyde's taking most of the week off. <laughs> yes. He's taking advantage of his good vacation time. Good. That's right. Good for him. Well, well, Allie, I got a question. Um, have you seen the movie Elf? I have. Oh, Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Okay, yes. Well, the <laughs> Reading Middle School has turned its window to the media center into a holiday display right out of the movie Elf. Students were welcomed back for their in-person learning after Thanksgiving, and they saw a winter wonderland. Mr. Mark Griffin, he is a middle school teacher there. He took time of his own, out of his own schedule. He took time to recreate the Gimbel's department store display from the movie. And they wanted to give uh, Mr. Griffin a shout out for that, and, you know, that effort. It's just beautiful. I love it. That is so fun. I mean, I know, I don't know about you, but trying to get into the holiday spirit and even putting up some of that stuff around the home is fun, but can sometimes, I mean, that's a lot of time. So it that's is. a beautiful, beautiful arrangement that he made. And I'm sure the kids are absolutely loving it. Um, and to, to kind of keep that holiday theme, but with a little bit of a twist, I don't know if you remember, we went to the Dent Schoolhouse a little while back. Oh yeah, uh, oh but yeah. They're bringing, yes, Halloween is over, but they're actually bringing back a two day special event. So they're going to also be decking the halls with lights and garland, and they're gonna be adding some new Christmas creatures to the schoolhouse. And so it's just this weekend only on December 4th and December 5th. So this goes from 6 to 10 p.m. and you can get tickets online. There's general admission for $25, a fast pass for 45, and then a front of the line pass for $55. So if you want to, be kind of scared, but still enjoy some <laughs> holiday fun and see some cool lights and whatnot. That would be something to do this weekend. You know, Allie, being scared is always on the trend. You know, I, I love scary movies and things, so this is great. I know there'll be a lot of our people, a lot of people taking advantage of that. Taking advantage of it. And also this weekend, um, if you're a sports fan, just as a reminder, the Crosstown Shootout is happening this weekend. So this Sunday at 3 p.m., Xavier and UC will be playing. So you might want to tune into that. And they'll be broadcasting that online. And you can also hear it on the radio and a couple of sites as well. So I don't know if you're going to be watching the game this weekend, Mona, but I know I will be. <laughs> you know I will not be, but, right. <laughs> but I know that a lot of people will, including you, Allie. And um, you are a big Xavier fan, so um, I'm going to go with you and hoping they win. Yes, they, I appreciate the sport, and I can't wait for all of us, you know, to be back in the Centos Center because the Crosstown Shootout actually this year is at Xavier or is at UC, um, and hopefully next year. We'll be back there cheering them on and throwing some more t-shirts up into the crowds. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you do a great job with that. Thank you, thank you. Well, with that said, we're gonna switch gears a little bit because if you're looking for a new hobby, then we've got the perfect one for anyone with an artistic ability. So dust off your sketch pad and pencils. We're going to introduce you to a local art club that is sketching their way through the tri-state. We met up with a few members of the group back in June. Take a look. Right now we are at the new Art Climb um, at the Art Museum of Cincinnati with the beautiful new steps in the background. This is um, a beautiful new addition to this area. Um, and what we're doing is we're sketching. Every couple weeks, the urban sketchers of Cincinnati meet at one of our beautiful locations in the tri-state, capturing the landscapes with a variety of mediums ranging from pen to pencil to watercolor and crayon. And it doesn't matter the skill level because everyone brings a different perspective to the table. So if you're just starting, I totally recommend coming out, even if you have never drawn anything before but you wanted to. Uh, we have had folks come out with their little kids, school at home art class, they'll come to an urban sketching outing. And that's great to see. And then the parents get into drawing too, just as a way to do that. The outings have been as small as two people and as large as 40. 
And the most satisfying moment is everyone's big reveal. Well, we draw for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then what we try to do on a normal day is get together someplace where there's good light. We do a throwdown. We throw down our sketchbooks with the sketch that we did. We take photographs of that for people to see, and then we post that online. That's a big part of urban sketching is we want to see the sketches online so people elsewhere in the world can see what we our renderings of Cincinnati. That's the other thing. Urban Sketchers is a global group. It originally started in Seattle and has expanded around the world. So it's also a great opportunity to showcase what our city has to offer. Doing a screenshot right now. Telling people, trust me, there is no judgment. There is zero judgment when it comes to sketching. Um, even if you've literally just bought a sketchbook yesterday, we want you to come because it's not about how good you are. It's about getting out and seeing our city from different perspectives and being around people that have the same hobbies and passions and interests as you. But even then, it's, it's seeing everybody's different um, views on things. You know, how I look at this is gonna be completely different how Jeb looks at this. Even if you're on the fence a little bit, you're embarrassed about your drawing skills, come and do it. You will have a great time and you will learn a lot. Uh, but as for urban sketching in Cincinnati, you wouldn't believe how many cool places there are to draw in this city that we live in and take for granted so much. This year, a lot of families are going to need help to make the holidays a time of cheer. And you can do your part by donating to Toy Team 9. It's our annual toy drive to help kids in our community through a partnership with Kroger and nine nonprofits in our area. And right now I want to welcome Aaron Rolfes from Kroger. Aaron, always good to have you here and thank you so much. It's been 10 years now that we've been doing this um, toy drive and it's been such a great partnership. Tell me why Kroger decided to get involved in the first place. Yeah, thank you for having me. We're happy to be supporting you again. I can't believe it's been 10 years that we've been doing this. Uh, so it's really important for us from a zero hunger, zero waste standpoint to make sure that all of our uh, neighbors have the food that they need. But we know that it's not just food that folks need to thrive in, in our region. So we are really very happy to work with your team again to bring toys to kids in need this year. Well, talk a little bit about the impact Toy Team 9 has on our community. We certainly know that the need is greater this year. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, you know, like we said, kids need food, and we know that kids also need those basics to survive. But when you get to the holiday season, it's great to have a toy and just great to have something special that parents can give their kiddos. And uh, working with those nine local nonprofits, we're looking forward to distributing toys all across the Cincinnati region. You know, and I, I get excited about this. This is my favorite time of year, one of my favorite projects that we do. And you know what? It could have easily been canceled this year and people would have understood because of all that's going on in our world but it wasn't, and talk to me about why that is. Yeah, we know that uh, this year is strange on, ma on many levels, um, and we wanted to make sure that there was some sense of normalcy for those families, and of course those organizations in need, you know, we know that they're spending a lot of dollars trying to, to help folks, and if we could help out in any way, we wanted to be able to do that this year. All right, so talk about how it's gonna be a little different and what we're doing this year. Sure, we're making it so socially distanced and very uh, easy for folks just to make a donation right there and then we'll make sure that that gets to the, to the uh, organizations that we're working with. And uh, Kroger is again gonna donate $500 to each organization so that they can buy some toys as well. You know what, that is so generous. That is something you all been doing this entire time. So I just wanna personally say thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support of these nine organizations. If you wanna know which organizations we're supporting, you can check them out and make those donations there. Aaron, thank you so much for talking to us. We appreciate it and we appreciate all Kroger has done for this event. Thank you, have a great day. Thanks, Mona. And we do want to let you know that this weekend is the last weekend you have to, do to donate to Toy Team 9. As you heard, your donation can make the difference between a child waking up on Christmas and having something to unwrap or having nothing. And right now, WCPO, Kroger, and our community have raised more than $28,891. We're almost at our goal of 35,000, but we do need your help and any amount can make a difference. So go to toyteam9.com and give what you can to help make a child's holiday a little brighter here in the tri-state. Mona? Imagine this, 
looking younger in just a matter of minutes. All those bags and crow's feet, dark circles that make you look older, gone. Too good to be true? Not necessarily. And today we're going to talk about Plexiderm. And to help us out with this, I want to welcome our good friend, Tia Leslie. Tia, can you share with us some of the inside info about Plexiderm? Yes, I can. Yes. So, Mona, this is an amazing product. This is called Plexiderm. So the people at Plexiderm really wanted to make it affordable for everyone these days. Because as you know, looking good can really boost one's confidence. And I think we could all use a little bit more of that these days, right? So you can use Plexiderm seven days a week, or you can use it as a quick pick-me-up. But the more that I travel and the more that I talk to our Plexiderm customers, I'm finding that they're using it four, five, six, even seven days a week because they really like the result that they're getting. So this is how it works. If you have any visual signs of aging popping up, you've got bags coming in underneath the eye. Those are really hard to get rid of, I know. Crow's feet, the 11s, we're all squinting on Zoom and Skype and our phones. I know I'm guilty of it daily. Plexiderm can drastically reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles within 10 minutes because unlike any other product on the market, it only takes Plexiderm 10 minutes to where you'll see a complete transformation. So this is how I would use it. I'd get up in the morning, apply it to clean, dry skin. And then two things, it goes on clear, so this works beautifully for both women and men, keep that in mind, and you really only need about a half a pea size. Leave that on for 10 minutes, it only takes about 10 minutes to set, but once you come back and take a look in the mirror, I think you're really gonna be astounded by the results. People can't get over within one application the result that they're getting. Reporters are using this now, people in front of the camera, We've got actors and actresses are using this on set for film and TV. But what I really love about it is that you can get that same result now all from the comfort of your own home. So if you're using something currently that is not working for you, this is the product to get. All right, we've got to get in the 10 minute challenge. Tell us about that. Yes. So if you're skeptical, maybe you're on a budget, this is a great way to try Plexiderm. If you've seen it on social media and commercials right now, $14.95 plus free shipping. And I love this, Mona, actually, because you can actually try the product before going in on a full bottle. One-time fee, no subscription, and it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. This is what you'll receive. Six different applications. So think of it as six different days you can try the product out. Take the 10-minute Plexiderm Challenge at home for yourself. See what a difference it can make for you. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain, like taking years off of your appearance. All right, so tell us how people can get Plexiderm. Yes, so call the number on your screen right now or PlexidermTrial.com. Again, if you're using something currently that is not working for you, this product is amazing. All right, Tia, thank you so much. We appreciate you talking to us. Thank you. And coming up here on Cincy Lifestyle, picking the perfect present for your pet. He's been a good old boy all year too, so don't let your dog or cat get left out of Santa's nice list. A pet lifestyle expert will tell us her top picks for your fuzzy family member. All that and more after the break. Welcome back. Well, for many of us, our pets are part of the family and deserve to get in on the holiday fun. And here with some holiday gift ideas is Kristen Levine, a pet lifestyle expert, blogger, and author of the book, Pampered Pets on a Budget. So thank you and welcome. So, all right, tell us, thank what you. are your top tips when choosing a gift for your pet? Sure, sure. Good morning, Mona. My top gift, well, actually, I'm going to show you some really great gift ideas, but my top tip mm. is to spend more time with your pets this holiday season because when we build that human-animal bond, we reap a lot of health benefits. Pets help us reduce stress, they make us have a healthier heart, and they make us laugh. And we all could use that in 2020. <laughs> We absolutely can. You know what? I don't have a pet right now, but I do have a grand dog. So what is one of your Perfect. favorite pet gifts? Something I might be able to get her. Okay. Your grand puppy is going to love this. So this is a Marion Bright holiday advent calendar with dog treat cookies. Gives you 
the perfect excuse to treat your grand dog every single day leading up to the holidays. The, the dog version comes with a variety of cookie treats for each day, and the cat version comes with a variety of adorable little cat toys that they get every single day. So a really fun way to celebrate the holidays together each day. Um, these are available exclusively at PetSmart stores uh, and on online at PetSmart.com. Under $20, so it's a really great price point and a lot of fun for, for not only the, the pet, but the person too. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, that's a good idea. Little Maddie's going to love that. Or do you have any gift suggestions for the pet parents? I do. I have a couple for you. The first one that makes gift giving really easy. Uh, check out these high quality photo pillows and photo art in fresh personalized styles from Design Marketplace Minted. These are unique, they're customizable, they're premium quality gifts at a very affordable price, and they're all designed by their community of independent artists. I love these gifts because it shows that you put a little bit of thought into the recipient and what, what they love, which would be a photo of their pet. Um, the custom framed art starts at $38, the pillows, the photo pillows start at $44, all of this available at minted.com. And then another really fun festive idea for the pet lover and their dog is this dog and me matching holiday sweater set created by the folks over at Samuel Adams <laughs> and Tipsy Elves. How cute, right? So that is this was adorable. inspired by. <laughs> and those aren't was ugly inspired by Those are cute. They're not ugly. They're adorable. <laughs> inspired by the winter lager. It's a limited edition set, so you definitely want to hop over to tipsyelves.com slash sam-adams before they run out. And my last tip is, this would be great for your grand dog as well, is the gift of health. You know, our dogs are special and their food should mm -hmm. be special too. So tailoredpet.com offers personalized recipes for your dog's best life. And it's a subscription-based dog food, so it's really convenient too. You just go to their website at tailoredpet.com, fill out a short three-minute quiz that gives them important information about your pet's weight, size, breed, and they will formulate a personalized brand, a personalized formula just for your dog. Um, can't beat it, free shipping, they deliver it right to your door at tailoredpet.com. That is very convenient, Kristen. All right, so where can people go to get more information? Just go to tipsontv.com. All the info's there for you. Kristen, you are fantastic. Thank you so much for talking to us. <laughs> Thank Allie? you. Merry Christmas. If I had a pup, I'd be all over those matching sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you shop at Kroger, Jungle Gyms, or find yourself indulging in a sandwich from a local deli, there's a good chance you've come across 16 Bricks Bakery. It's a local bakery that produces some of the freshest bread in town, and we went behind the scenes to learn more. Behind these pink bricks is home to 16 Bricks, a ride-or-die wholesale artisan bakery that uses only the finest ingredients and the power of science to produce hundreds of loaves a day. And it all started in May of 2011 when the owner Ryan took over and reinvented his parents' bakery after pursuing a career in mechanics. So combine the two and you get a fine-tuned bakery that produces at a high volume and with a tremendous amount of integrity towards each and every loaf. I think my relationship with bread is my relationship to the community. It's very much like what goes into it is, what goes into it is, is my ideas and, and my love and my passion of what we're going to do. And it's forever changing. You know, I remember once upon a time, this was like, to me, everything. You know, when, when I look at the bread and I see the fermentation on the outside of it, I see a little dark and charred pieces. I see some light and undercooked pieces. You know, a nice steady knock to it underneath, like, and, and just a smell of sourdough bread, of naturally fermented bread is different than pretty much anything. Um, and I was so super proud of this in our baguette. You know, our baguette has taken me well beyond uh, this city. I, uh, I really believe in the product. Uh, we don't add artificial preservatives to a uh, this stuff so it's all natural and very healthy for you uh, and it's really easy on your gut to digest. From their famous French baguettes and sourdough to their honey hole wheat and quinoa bread, 16 Bricks Bakery has a wide variety to choose from and they're always experimenting to make that next loaf even better. 
And every day, these fresh loaves are shipped out around the tri-state to local farmers markets, delis, and even big grocery stores, all while expanding the horizons of our community. Community is that, is that we support everyone, and everyone supports us. And it's not exclusive, it's anyone's welcome. I'll support anyone, I'll back anybody. And you don't necessarily need to be in Ohio, you know? It, community, local, it's more the mindset of being there for others and others being there for me. We get grain from Kentucky, we get grain from Montana, California, you know, Wyoming. A lot of chorusing comes out of Wyoming. So now every time you dive into a loaf of 16 bricks bread, a lot of experimentation and hands went into the making. It is a labor of love. You don't get into this business because you're going to get rich and make a lot of money. It's all about passion and every single person here is passionate about the restaurant industry and it's general and it's really fun to see people put their passions into something like this. Wow, that bread looks good. Well, we'll be back with more Cincy Lifestyle on the other side of the break. Plus, be sure to check us out on Facebook. That is where we post all our guest segments and community stories. They're right there, so you can watch them and share them with your friends. So like and follow us now at facebook.com slash Cincy Lifestyle. We'll be right back. Chilly outside and cloudy skies, they continue for this Friday. Look for highs only to reach around the mid 40s this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies the rest of the day, Allie. Yeah, we are definitely in December, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, and that's Cincy Lifestyle for Friday, December 4th. Remember, if you know a unique local business or product that we should feature, reach out to us, email us. We love to hear from you. And donate, 489, nine. Make it a great weekend. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button. You can also check out full episodes of the show you've never seen before or watch your favorites again and again. And as always, make it a great day.